All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly connect to your Grove Pi for the first time. Um, we're going to use Raspbian for Robots, the Dextra Industries operating system. It comes with all the software that you need to get going. And um, we'll connect over Ethernet, and then we'll finally connect, uh, we'll use that to connect over Wi Fi. Um, there are a couple of things here that you get in the Grove Pi starter kit. You'll see these as well, and I'm going to use them in just a second. Um, I'll show you the physical setup and then we'll hop into how to set it up with the um, uh, how to set up the software and connect over uh, the network. So we'll hop into the software in just a second. Um, I'm going to be working on a Mac. The differences are uh, very small for working on a PC. Um, but I'll try to walk you through those uh, as we come across them. So I've got the Raspberry Pi, the Grove Pi, and the Grove Pi case all assembled here. And you can see it in a different video, we have the step-by-step -step instructions of how to put everything into the case. The case is nice, it protects um, all the ports and protects a lot of the pins from, say, getting dropped or getting water spilled on it a little bit and um, from other sort of errant uh, things that might happen in the classroom or that might happen around your office. The first step is to put in the SD card, so you should have Raspbian for robots. Um, it's a micro SD card, it comes packaged uh, inside a micro SD card adapter. Um, on the back of the Raspberry Pi, there is a micro SD card slot, so we just put that in. Make sure it's firmly seated and we hear a click. And we know it's all the way in, so we double check, make sure that's in, it's not going anywhere. Uh, to have the most foolproof setup, we start off by showing people how to do this with the Ethernet port. So I've got a Dexter Industries Ethernet cable here. It should also come in the starter pack. Um, and you just simply click that in to the, um, to the Ethernet port there. And uh, you'll hear that sort of click and sit very firmly. Um, and finally, we're going to add some power. I've got the I think it's best to start with the Dexter Industries power supply, no matter how you're going to power this. Um, this will supply two amps, which if you're not providing enough amperage, if you use a different power source or something like that, you may see problems with your network. So for first setup and just to make sure that everything is working correctly, we'll use the Dexter Industries power source. So we'll put this together and we'll plug it into the um, side of the Raspberry Pi. You'll notice there's a micro USB slot right there for the Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to connect that and the other end into my power. We'll power it up. You'll notice on the side of the Raspberry Pi, if everything is going successfully, you've got the power light, that's solid red, and then you've got the ACT light right there, and that blinks. You can see it blinking right now. So we know we've successfully fired that up. The next step is I'm going to plug in the Ethernet and you should see one quick, quick indication there as well. So if I uh, plug that in, you'll notice right now without it plugged in, there are no lights on the ethernet ports, but if everything is running well, I go ahead and plug that in, and voila, the two ethernet lights, covered up there by my cable, but the two ethernet lights, one is solid and one is, or one is more or less solid in there, and one is blinking. So. Now I know that the Raspberry Pi and the, my Mac or your computer are actually talking to each other. So with that set up, I will go ahead and we will jump to the software of how to log into the Grove Pi and get started with an example program um, and get Wi-Fi set up and anything else you want to do. So, okay, so I have the um, Grove Pi successfully set up all the hardware and I'm connected. Um, to my um, uh, to my laptop over Ethernet. If you're on a Mac, one of the things you do want to double check um, is a networking preference. So if you go up to your little Wi-Fi icon and you go to network, Open Network Preferences, you'll see that um, we should see if we're successfully connected. There we go we'll see that um, we've got a couple of things going on. We've got Wi-Fi and we've got USB Ethernet. So yours may just be straight up Ethernet or you're using a MacBook Pro. 
One thing you want to do is just click on that. You should see the, um, a dynamic uh, IP address and you need to make sure that you've selected using DHCP for your Ethernet cable. So first step is we're going to connect to the GrovePi over Ethernet and after you log into the GrovePi using the Raspbian for Robots, you can set up Wi-Fi. Until that time, you want to just make sure that you're connected properly. So you can see I'm connected to um, to the Grove Pi and Raspberry Pi. I've already got a, a IP address assigned and my network is set up correctly. So I'm going to close that. Another step that you might want to try is just to ping the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi comes with a default host name of DEX. You can find it if you have Bonjour installed on your PC or if you're just using a Mac, Macs already have Bonjour installed, you can type in pull up a terminal if you go to the launch pad and you type in terminal you'll see this icon you click on that um, we just type in at terminal ping dex.local dex is the host name dot local is an extension that uh, works for bonjour if I type in ping dex.local let's see if it's there great I'm getting an IP address back I'm getting a successful ping after you've pinged it and you're that indicates you have a connection, a successful connection and your uh, computer and your Raspberry Pi are talking to each other. You hit Control and C and that will break it. So that's Control C, works on both a Mac and a PC. And that breaks the, uh, that stops it from pinging. So we can close that and what we'll do is pull up a browser. Actually, before we take off, I want to show you one more quick trick for the Mac, and this is using Bonjour Browser. So if you're having trouble finding dex.local or maybe you've changed the uh, host name, you can download this program called Bonjour Browser, and it helps you find other uh, computers or printers that are on your network. Um, you can see that dex, uh, as in dex.local, is successfully showing up on my um, on the network. This is uh, through Ethernet, and I'm connected to another Wi-Fi network where my Google Chromecast is actually connected as well. So it's a great little tool for helping you find um, your Raspberry Pi um, or Grove Pi if it's uh, lost. So I recommend installing it. It's called Bonjour Browser, and um, I'll put a link. So we can close that, and what we'll do is pull up a browser. And if we pull up a browser, we can use that to log on um, to the Raspberry Pi. If we type in dex.local, we'll connect it. We see our Raspberry uh, Raspbian for Robots uh, uh, webpage. And this is actually being served up by the Raspberry Pi now. We're at http dex.local. You can connect um, using VNC or terminal. So VNC is a graphical program. And if we uh, just open that up in a new tab, but if we connect to VNC, the password for the latest Raspbian for Robots is robots1234. Robots1234. Type that in, you'll see the uh, desktop. So this is Raspbian for Robots, and this has, uh, this gives you insight into your Raspberry Pi. You can see that the um, the uh, GrovePy uh, libraries and example programs are already in the GrovePy um, directory on the desktop. You can also see that there's a Scratch programming language uh, already installed as well, and it comes with our own flavor of Scratch. We've modified it a little bit to make it easier to use with GrovePy. But if you want to get started with programming Scratch, you go here, you go to select a robot, and a drop-down occurs, and you click GrovePy. And you'll see that that changes it from the GoPi Go, which is the standard, over to Grove Pi. And you can either start programming, which will open up the Scratch interface. Um, you can open up examples that are um, that we ship with Raspbian for Robots. Um, and you can uh, do a couple other things that are in this menu. But I recommend you open up an example if you want to program with Scratch. and. Uh, you open that up it gives you another prompt for the scratch for robots we just change the robot to grow Pi, and then we click on start programming hit ok this will close any other scratch programs down and 
voila, you have the example, you hit OK when this remote sensor thing pops up, you have the example Chrome Pi program. Um, if you want to set up Wi-Fi, uh, if you want to untether your Raspberry Pi or Grove Pi from the, uh, from the Ethernet cable, you can go ahead and click on Wi-Fi setup in the upper left hand corner. And that'll walk you through, uh, it's this, uh, that'll walk you through setting up um, Wi-Fi. You have to have a Raspberry Pi or have a Wi-Fi device plugged into your Raspberry Pi. So you can't see it, but I'll plug one into the Raspberry Pi as we speak. See, there's no adapter uh, now, and then when there's no adapter, like no um, Wi-Fi dongle plugged into the Raspberry Pi, nothing will show up there. But if we plug one in, get a WLAN zero here and adapter, and then. This is the actual network, the SSID. So if you want to add a network, I'll add a different network here. You can go to Manage Networks, this tab, and if you hit Scan, a dialog box should pop up. And you'll see the list of um, different uh, networks on Wi-Fi that are available. I'm going to click this Chennai 2.0 network and walk through how to add that um, and the credentials for logging into that. So the name is, the SSID is Chennai 2.0. That's the name of the Wi-Fi network that you want to log on to, whatever yours is. And then you enter in the Wi-Fi credentials here, the PSKE, PSK. If we add that and we close the scan results, see the Chennai 2.0 is on the list. And if I have my Wi-Fi dongle in, it should try to automatically complete uh, connection. So if you see something like this, um, but you don't see an IP address, you haven't connected. Once you finally see an IP address, that's when you've connected over your Wi-Fi network. And um, if, you, if this number doesn't show up, the IP address, you should go back to Manage Networks, open up, and edit and try entering your PSK. The most common uh, error is that the PSK or the password for your Wi-Fi network has not been entered correctly. So again, if you don't see this uh, IP address down here, 192.168 something, go back to Manage Networks and change your SSID. And that's pretty much it. That's all it takes to set up the Grove Pi. I'll show you a couple other quick tricks. If we go back to dex.local in our uh, browser, you'll notice that the first option is VNC, that's a desktop option. And if you want to go into the terminal, you can also do that through um, through the browser. It's a little bit more of an advanced option. You may get a security error, that's okay. You just click on advanced, this is in Chrome, um, and then proceed to that. And you'll get a login just like you would for a um, terminal. You can type in pi is the username, and then robots1234 is the password. You can see, there we are, we're logging into the, uh, the terminal. You, you will probably get this exhaust unable to display and then quotation marks. That's okay, we expect that. Um, and then you have all the terminal options. Show you one more quick uh, way to get into a terminal with a Mac while we're here. If we go back to terminal, we want to SSH into the Pi. This is again for more advanced users, but this is just a quick walk around of what Raspbian for Robots looks like. If I type in SSH pi at dex.local, I'll be prompted for a login. Again, I'm still connected to the Raspberry Pi. It gives me a little bit of a pushback security warning there. And then if I type in the password now, that's robots1234, you can go ahead and that's how I log in via SSH and I can see what's going on with my Pi. So that is uh, how you connect to the Grove Pi using Raspbian for Robots.